Hi guys, Paul from Warrior Tactical Systems here. Today I want to talk to you about uh, something I use in all my concealed carry classes to help people to understand the, the seriousness of what we're doing. Um, and, and that's uh, for science news, uh, number 13 in particular is blood lessons. Now for science news, for those of you that aren't familiar with for science, that is an outstanding tool uh, not only for your, your training so you understand uh, how the mind works, how human reaction time works, uh, but also if you are ever to get into a self-defense situation, you know, force science could really help you in your defense so that people can understand what's actually happening in a dynamic force encounter. They do a lot of research on that sort of thing, so please check that out. Now again, this is number 13, so you can look it up in force science news it's called Blood Lessons. All right. And what this is, is uh, uh, this is a experienced police officer who's off duty. He takes his wife and uh, daughter to McDonald's, okay? And as he's standing in line there at McDonald's, he knows the people in front of him um, are t mumbling back and forth that the place is being robbed. So he immediately tells his, his wife, take our daughter and get out of here. Go out that exit, go to the car. And as she's starting to do that, he draws his concealed handgun. He's telling the people to move out of the way. They're in front of him in line. And he didn't see the robber come in. So he assumed he came through a back door and he would go out a back door. And he was kind of drawing his gun just in case. Well, as soon as he cleared those folks off to the side, the robber came sprinting down straight towards him um, from the, the back office. And when he looked up and saw a man with a gun, he brought his gun up to fire. He fired two rounds, I believe it was. And the officer fired 11 rounds. Okay, And he actually struck the suspect 10 times, which is pretty good shooting. Okay, Now, after he shot, um, you know, it took a second. Luckily, he had trained over repetitions and time to scan after he shot. It took him a minute to do that, but once he did... Uh, he saw a, a little girl lying on the ground behind him in a puddle of blood. Uh, she was uh, nine years old and she was obviously dead. She'd been shot in the head. So the, the suspect was down and when he looked off to his right, he saw his wife and child still in the room. They hadn't made it all the way out before the shooting started. They were hiding under a table, shaking in fear and they were in plain view of this nine-year-old that was dead. So the point of this is, you know, whether you get involved or don't get involved, things can happen. People can die. Um, even if you're trained, like this officer was, to shoot straight, he practiced a lot. He was a 15-year uh, veteran of the police. He was a SWAT team member and a, a use of force uh, and firearms instructor. He made really solid hits. He was very responsible with his rounds. But the bad guys don't care about anyone else or who's around or who's behind you. They'll just fire at random and they're not trained. Uh, he said that if he had it to do over again, he would. He said the most, the smartest, and most responsible thing would have been to take his family out first, protect them, get them out, and then call for backup and be a good witness. Now this comes from a police officer who's armed. He's off duty, <clears throat> so. You know, for us, it's sometimes we need to think about do we want to get involved in this situation or would we be better witnesses? Uh, sometimes being a good witness might be the best option. On the other hand, if you do nothing and the, the person kills someone, you have to live with that as well. So each circumstance is going to be different, each situation is going to be different, and it's really up to you to decide, you know, what you can live with. Um, you know, I would hate to have to sit there in an active shooter situation and not have my gun and have to live with that guilt of not caring because I was just lazy and I didn't want to carry when I know I could have handled that situation where I could have at least fought back in that situation. So, you know, it's, it's up to you. Again, there's time to get involved, there's time not to, but either way, you got to live with those consequences. So, just keep in mind, concealed carry is not necessarily for everyone. And I don't expect it to be. I just want you to understand the seriousness of what it is we do, what it is we teach. Okay? So be safe, guys, and get trained. Okay, guys, if you learned something from that video, please hit like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. 
And, you know, I'd love to hear comments and feedback on this because it's a very serious subject. And, you know, I understand there's a wide range of opinions on these things. So uh, please share yours.